Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome here to the launch pad. You're looking at a live view of Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, where SpaceX is getting to launch 22 more Starlink satellites to orbit. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name is Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the launch pad. And here at TLP Network, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. And we're just going to sync our countdown clocks here T minus three minutes, 35 seconds, and counting until launch if you haven't yet take a moment engage that like button share out the stream invite people to join us also make sure you subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage docking undocking or return to earth as we continue through tonight's count l minus three minutes 15 seconds and counting until launch the next major milestones that we're going to see in tonight's flight is going to be that really that final go no go for launch at t minus 45 seconds the strong back has retracted away from today's Falcon 9, T minus three minutes and counting. On your screen, you can see a great view of that new crew access tower that has been built. The fourth segment was recently lifted into place, giving us a great look at what this new tower will look like, hopefully bringing online Crew Dragon next early next year. This will help SpaceX have a secondary pad for crew and cargo dragons, supporting them being able to actually expand their Starship testing to Launch Complex 39A. Listening into the mission control comms for the final callouts, Falcon 9 beginning to pressurize its tanks ready for flight. T minus 2 minutes, 22 seconds and counting. As always, here at the launch pad, let's see that go no go in the chat for launch. Lots of people just tuning in. Great to have you all here. Great to see so many regulars. Denise, Jessica, Corner, great to see you. Dougie, Linda, thank you so much for being here. Stealth Mode, good to see you. Stage 2 lock float is complete. And there you heard that call out. Now under 2 minutes and counting till launch. Stage 2 lock load now complete. As usual, SpaceX will no longer be showing deployment of tonight's Starlink. Deployment set 1 hour, 5 minutes, 17 seconds after liftoff. Today, the Falcon 9 booster that is supporting it has flown, is going for its 16th flight, having previously supported GP yeah, GPS 3 Space 4, GPS 3 Space 5, Inspiration 4, AX 1, Nilesat 301, OneWeb Launch 17, Arabsat Bader 8, and 8 previous Starlink missions. It's going to touch down on Just Read the Instructions, stationed off the coast in the Atlantic Ocean. Coming into the final minute of the count, take a moment, engage that like button, share out the stream. T minus 60 seconds and counting till launch, listening for that final go from Falcon the launch director. Falcon 9 is officially in startup for tonight's flight. Waiting for that final call. Go for launch. And the launch director has given that final go for launch for tonight's Falcon 9 Starlink 6-23, not 22, it is 23. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15. 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mission, and liftoff. Go Falcon, go Star. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. And Falcon 9's booster has lifted off for its 16th flight from Slick 40, Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The next major milestone will be uh, max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure, on that first stage. That's set to occur 1 minute 12 seconds into today's flight. 40 seconds into flight, now traveling over 750 kilometers an hour, 4 kilometers in altitude. Standing by for that max Q callout.
vehicle supersonic. Max Q. And they're T plus one minute, 20 seconds into flight, now traveling over 2,100 kilometers an hour, passing through 18 kilometers in altitude. T plus 90 seconds into flight. The next sequence of events will be a number of events starting T MVAC plus 2 minutes, started. 24 seconds. You heard there the call out for MVAC chill in preparation for MECO or main engine cutoff. 2 minutes, 24 seconds into flight. Immediately followed by stage separation and ignition of that MVAC engine, also known as second engine start or SES-1. 30 seconds later, it will be followed by fairing deployment. Coming up to 2 minutes into flight, now passing through 4,500 kilometers an hour, coming up to 40 kilometers in altitude. Listening for the callout of that sequence of events, MECO, stage separation, and MVAC ignition, followed by fairing separation. Let's listen to the net. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And just before that MVAC ignition, a beautiful view of, of the Space Coast. On the left side of your screen, a look from the inner stage of the first stage up towards the second stage. Second stage now lit, now traveling over eight, coming up to 8,000 kilometers an hour. The first stage beginning, uh, continuing its ascent, heading towards its apogee, now traveling uh, over 90 kilometers in altitude, but beginning to slow its speed. Keep a close eye, waiting for fairing deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we have that fairing separation. The first stage will continue to coast up to its apogee, right around 116 kilometers before descending back. We do have 100 kilometers in altitude on both both vehicles now having passed the Carmen line. 3 minutes, 25 seconds into flight, the second stage traveling now over 8,600 kilometers an hour, 111 kilometers in altitude. First stage traveling just over 7,100 kilometers an hour and decreasing, coming up to its uh, apogee before it begins its journey back down to Earth. The next major milestone for that first stage will be first stage entry burn. That's set to begin six minutes, eight seconds into flight, or just over two minutes from now. If you haven't yet, take a moment, engage that subscribe button. I want to say thanks so much to our newest member, Dory. Thanks for becoming a Lunar Explorer. We appreciate that. If you'd like to help support what we do here at the Launchpad, consider hitting that join button. All that goes back into upgrading our equipment to help bring you the best possible coverage of everything space from around the world. Also gets you access to some behind the scenes and other things like that. T plus four minutes, 20 seconds into flight. The first stage now reaching its apogee. 6,960 kilometers an hour. Speed is now increasing, signaling that it has begun its descent as the altitude decreases. Reaching Apogee. The second stage now traveling over 10,500 kilometers an hour, passing 145 kilometers in altitude. T plus five minutes into flight. Now just over one minute away from that entry burn. If you guys have any questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad, continuing to listen to the mission control nets, watching the altitude of the first stage, preparing for it to pass through the Carmen line again, and the first stage now below the Carmen line, beginning its descent back to just read the instructions. Now about 35 seconds away from entry burn startup.
Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Stage two, FTS has saved. Both vehicles remain on normal trajectory. And you saw there a good entry burn, T plus six minutes, 53 seconds into flight. This first stage now just 30 kilometers above the Atlantic Ocean, traveling over 4,800 kilometers an hour, but quickly decreasing its speed as it prepares to land on the autonomous drone ship. Just read the instructions. Seven minutes, seven seconds into flight, the second stage now traveling over 18,000 kilometers an hour, passing 160 kilometers in altitude with 22 Starlink V2 minis on board. First stage now passing through 10 kilometers in altitude. First stage landing burn set to begin eight minutes, seven seconds into flight, 30 seconds from now. Let's see a go, no go in the chat for landing burn. Stage one transonic. 20 seconds from landing burn startup. Stage two, normal directory. Stage one landing burn. First stage now firing some of those Merlin 1D engines preparing to land on the drone ship. Just read the instructions. You can see those grid fins steering the first stage. Landing leg deploy. Landing leg deploy. T plus 8 minutes, 25 seconds into flight. Touchdown of the Falcon stage 9. One first stage. Having completed its 16th flight, waiting for the call of Seco 1. But that's going to do it for us here at the launch pad. Back this down. was our, and there we have that call out of MVAC shutdown. Well, that's going to do it for us here tonight in our live coverage of SpaceX Starlink 6 23, having launched from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Confirmation of nominal orbit insertion there. If you haven't yet, make sure you engage that subscribe button to never miss another live launch coverage and join us over on our TLP Discord. Also keep an eye out, we're going to be doing a TLP members only kind of Q&A stream where we'll also be building the new LEGO Perseverance rover. We were thinking about doing it tonight. We might delay a day uh, to make sure that we have uh, the best setup for you guys to be able to see that building, but that's going to do it for us here from our TLP Canada studio. I'll see you next time because space is better together. Good night.